Hi boys and girls, we are on 16-3 and um, we are ready for some extra practice. And so I just wanna go over this um, little flow chart with you again. This is on the back of page 684 in your book. Um, and basically if you start at the top and sort of work your way down, they're all quadrilaterals. Like they all fall, uh, the parallelogram, the trapezoid, the rhombus, the rectangle, the square, they're all quadrilaterals. Um, but under the parallelograms, all rectangles are parallelograms all rhombuses are parallelograms, and all squares are rectangles and rhombuses and parallelograms and quadrilaterals. And then the trapezoid is just over here by itself. Trapezoids probably love social distancing. So what we need to do here is we need to, um, like this says, explain how the family tree diagram on page 684 shows that every square is a rectangle. So we can just kind of follow it up. So every square is also a rectangle because it has two sets of parallel lines and four right angles, which is all you need to be a rectangle. So that would be the answer there. How are a rectangle and a rhombus alike? Um, they both have two sets of parallel lines is what I would probably say. And then we get into the true and false. This says all rectangles, you gotta make sure you read these in order all rectangles are squares. Well, that's not true. All squares are rectangles, but not all rectangles are squares. Every rhombus is a parallelogram. That is true. Parallelograms are special rectangles. Well, they're all special. I actually don't know what to write on that one. Um, a trapezoid can be a square. No way. That's, that's nonsense. Um, all rhombuses are rectangles. No, that doesn't work. Every trapezoid is a quadrilateral. Yep, because if you look, the trapezoid falls under the quadrilateral. Rhombuses are special. I don't know what this means by special. Special. I don't know. I'm, I'm ignoring the ones that say special. Um, all rectangles are quadrilaterals. That is true. Um, what properties does the shape have? Why is this not a parallelogram? Well, it's got one, two, three, four sides. So it's a quadrilateral, but it's not a parallelogram because it has no parallel sides. Like this side is not parallel to this side. This side is not parallel to this side. They're just, there's no parallel. So that's why it's not a parallelogram. And why is a square also a rhombus? Well, that's because they both have um, four sides the same length. So. That is some extra practice. Um, we can try one more on the back. Let's go. Um, a reflecting pool is shaped like a rhombus with a side length of six meters. What is the perimeter? Well, we know for a rhombus that all four sides are the same length. So we would just need to take six times four and that's equal to uh, 24. I can't tell you how many like high stakes tests have I seen. They'll give a kid like a square. They'll tell them that this is six and like, what's the perimeter? And the kids are like, I don't know. You just take six times four. 24. That's how you do it. All right. Let me know if you have any questions.